Hello artists, while we wait for our kits to arrive, it's time to prep our first project paper stencil. And just like with relief, where it works a lot better if you can see really well those areas that you're going to print, I can ink in my paper stencil either using a marker or a brush uh, and ink. And I have more brush and ink than I have marker, so that's what I'm going to use. And as I go along, I'll end up making decisions that will make my design look better. Of course, your design will be simple with no um, gradation of values, but it doesn't have to be as simple as a cat contour um, as the speedball film um, states. You can have something with a little bit more variety. Make sure you use a mat or cardboard underneath the blade to protect your tabletop or counter. It also protects the blade so that it will last longer. Curves are the hardest, but if you turn the paper, you can get curves um, easier than if you just turn the knife. And I find that if I pick up the paper while I'm cutting to see what my image will look like, I get a better sense of how it's doing. I repeated elements, curves, hands, and vegetables here to make my design, which I hope to print and post around the neighborhood to encourage people to grow their own food and vegetables, herbs, to be a little bit more self-sufficient and less reliant on the wholesale transport. You can check it against a colored ground to see whether you're done or if you need to cut away some more. 